My name's Martin Alfred and I work for Campbell School Aberdeen and we're a charity based here in the northeast of Scotland and uh, we've been around for over 80 years. Um, we work with children and young people with additional support needs and uh, we support uh, day placements and residential placements uh, right from kindergarten age all the way to 25 years and older. My name is Jack Hampson Goodfellow and I'm an Assistant Programme Manager at Energy Saving Trust. Um, part of my role is looking after the Plugged In Communities Fund, which helps community organisations move towards net zero by purchasing um, zero emission vehicles. Many of the communities that we support don't have the funds necessary to buy these vehicles and through the fund um, we can help support them. Since we launched in 2021 we've helped purchase 53 uh, zero emission vehicles for community organisations in urban, rural and island communities. This support has helped these communities um, tackle car dependency, reduce carbon emissions um, and move towards a more sustainable transport future. We apply to Energy Saving Trust um, because sustainability is at the heart of what we do and it's been like that since our founding. Um, and we saw a, a great opportunity to begin to transform our, our fleet. We've got many vehicles and many are diesel and aging vehicles and, and this was a great um, chance for us to, to begin the, the road to transforming our fleet and um, having an electric car um, was really part of that. The drive to switch towards zero emission vehicles was something that's led very much by the senior leadership team here and um, we've been very keen to be part of the solution and, and finding alternative ways to, to reduce our energy use and become far more sustainable. So using an electric vehicle was something very new to us and quite exciting to get into. Um, the children and young people here, they were really involved in um, the process of identifying which was the right vehicle and um, we're also keen to be involved in um, establishing how it runs and works and charges. Um, so when it first arrived, uh, we were all involved in working out um, what gets plugged in where and uh, how to set up the charger. Also what was new to us um, was getting used to understanding range and um, having to be more prepared um, to pre-plan, but so far it's worked out really well. Um, we've noticed uh, quite a lot of additional benefits um, to having an electric vehicle when supporting our children and young people. For example, electric vehicles run much quieter and uh, many of the children and young people who use them have commented to us that they find it much cal more calming to be in a vehicle that doesn't make noise. We also have many children and young people that we support who are on the autistic spectrum and they can be quite sensitive as well to vibration and things like that. And again, we've noticed that um, the electric vehicles uh, have much less vibration because they don't have an internal combustion engine. Um, so many of the children and young people, they um, often will prefer to, to travel in the electric vehicles that we have. So our drivers uh, initially were quite apprehensive. Uh, many people weren't sure about uh, what it would mean to drive an electric vehicle. Um, but once uh, it was explained to them how it works and they got to have a test drive, um, many of them really embrace it and will often choose to take the electric vehicles because they find them um, more convenient and easier to drive. So carrying out longer journeys can sometimes be a concern for um, people using electric vehicles, but we've actually not found that an issue. Um, the vehicles that we have have quite um, uh, a healthy range. Having electric cars on our fleet has had a real positive impact. Um, number one, um, people are really proud to see that uh, we're really taking a positive step into the future and uh, working with and having um, zero emission vehicles. We've also seen a reduction in costs. Um, having an electric vehicle is much cheaper to run than a diesel one. The support of the fund has helped us to, to make the switch to zero emission vehicles and, and without them we wouldn't have had the, the finances to be able to make the switch. What we learned from this experience is that it's actually not so difficult to apply for a grant funding to, to get an electric vehicle and as a community organisation it's made a really significant difference and I'd really encourage other organisations to consider applying for the fund.